Here's a quick review of the camera mounts used in what you just saw. I filmed all of this with a 360 degree camera, so it made it easier to make the shots dynamic, but the mounts work with regular GoPro style action camera attachments as well. If you're going to buy one mount, it's the water bottle mount. It gives you the widest range of shots, and outside of racing, it's hands down the best and also the cheapest option. It turns your water bottle into a tripod, a vlogging stick, and an easy way to hand your camera off while you're riding. The only two things I don't like about this setup is that with my extra small bike frame, the camera only fits on the down tube, and you can't use this in a race. If you're recording a race or a situation where you need both hands on the bars, the traditional saddle mount or front computer mount are the best options. But the trade-off for safety is a static one-note shot, which is why you should consider a 360-degree camera upgrade. The helmet mount and the chesty are hands-free options too, but if I'm racing or riding in a group, I don't like the idea of landing on my chest and having the camera smash my sternum, and helmets just aren't designed to protect you with a camera mounted on top. The selfie stick mounted to both the super clamp and the back waist belt are unwieldy in a group setting. I worry about getting the back waist belt caught on branches. In fact, when I tested it with the extended selfie stick, I hit a tree branch. These do provide the illusion of someone else filming you, but the stitch line is exposed if you hold the shot long enough. The stitch line is why I bought the 360 camera to begin with. The way the camera works is that there are two lenses sandwiched together that captures 180 degrees a piece. But the sandwich isn't perfect because there is this space here, a blind spot. To solve this problem, the camera fills in the void by stitching the images around the blind spots together. If you hide a mount in the blind spots, it creates an odd and satisfying illusion that the camera is floating. The last mount is the axle mount, which replaces one side of a quick release skewer. I really like this angle, but I did insert it wrong once and I almost lost the wheel. There is one other hands-free option that I should mention, which is to place the camera on a device that you could hold in your teeth. Pulling something in and out of my mouth seemed kind of gross, but some people swear by it. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you on the road.